This summer, I undertook an operational role at the Wimbledon 2019 Tennis Championships. Specifically, I worked as part of the security team in ticket support. My principal duties were to work closely with the security team at the championships to deliver a safe and enjoyable customer experience. I was responsible for the security at the gates and admission into the grounds, as well as involvement in the corporate social responsibility of Wimbledon by scanning tickets for charity resale, where profits go to the Wimbledon Foundation. The Championships Wimbledon is a world-renowned and highly prestigious two-week tennis tournament hosted at the club's grounds in Wimbledon. All operations of the Championships are conducted by the All England Lawn Tennis Club, which is a subsidiary of the All England Lawn Tennis and Croquet Club Limited. My role was at the base of security operations managed by the All England Lawn Tennis Club security team, which worked closely with all other teams across the business in order to deliver expert support to the entire organisation. A clear connection with the subject matter that I've learnt at UCL was my use of Spanish, which proved invariably useful due to the international attraction of this sporting event. Interestingly, the security and securitisation aspect of my role provided a real-life example of the surveillance and border-making processes that I'd learnt about in political geography and geopolitics. This module also explored identity politics, which offered an interesting lens through which to observe the securitisation process at Wimbledon, as axes of individuals' identities, such as race, class or gender, became more or less distinctive given the geographic location of the individual as they passed through the highly securitised border into Wimbledon. Certain skills I've developed at UCL proved very useful in my role. Teamwork was vital, especially as there was the regular need to communicate and act efficiently as a team when there were certain security risks. My ability to work efficiently in a team has been developed through group projects that I've undertaken at university. For example, this year I worked in a small team in my qualitative thinking module in order to deliver a first-class digital object. Another key skill that was important for my role was integrity. As part of the security team, this was vital, especially as at such a prestigious event where staff could be subjected to bribery and there was reliance on honesty and respect. I've developed this skill across various modules at UCL by not committing plagiarism in academic essays and working reliably and efficiently in group projects. Wimbledon is one of four Grand Slam tournaments. These are the most prestigious individual competitions in tennis worldwide, the others being the Australian Open, US Open and Roland Garros. Wimbledon is regulated by the International Tennis Federation, which works closely with the tournament through its presence on the Grand Slam board, offering administrative, officiating and media support. Leading national associations own and organise the Grand Slams. For Wimbledon, this is a joint committee of the All England Lawn Tennis and Croquet Club and the Lawn Tennis Association. The Lawn Tennis Association is the national governing body of tennis in Great Britain, which aims to promote the sport from grassroots to professional tennis. This year, the AELTC and LTA partnered for a free community tennis festival called Middle Sunday Opened Up. This promotes their vision of widening participation of tennis for communities. There was a strong emphasis on profit at Wimbledon. The All England Lawn Tennis and Croquet Club had a turnover in 2018 of 256.7 million pounds. More than £37 million of pre pounds of pre-tax profits went to the LTA, which provides funding for tennis across the UK. This demonstrates the concern to promote tennis, which is ultimately the bedrock for the continued success of the business. Additionally, a key commercial concern that I was involved in monitoring for the championships was ambush marketing. The club derives revenue from commercial sponsors and therefore aims to minimise unauthorised commercial advertising material. This issue not only affects Wimbledon, but also other major sporting events such as the Olympics, where a firm stance is taken by confiscating branded items at entry. This is important in terms of maintaining the unique image and character of the event, which forms part of the Wimbledon experience. There's a clear international aspect to the All England Lawn Tennis Club, as Wimbledon is one of four international Grand Slam tennis tournaments. Therefore, the event is regulated by the International Tennis Federation and attracts many visitors from overseas. Moreover, during the championships, over 2,500 broadcasters work in the broadcast centre, with matches being broadcast in many countries worldwide. Whilst the AELTC places emphasis on profit and efficiency, there's also a large interest in corporate social responsibility. 
Wimbledon has recently signed up to the United Nations Sports for Climate Action Framework, using the strength of the Wimbledon brand to advocate for global change. Noticeable efforts to implement sustainability objectives were the removal of unnecessary plastics, such as plastic straws, sourcing renewable electricity, as well as various other measures. Furthermore, my role was directly involved with corporate social responsibility by scanning tickets that were resold with the profits going to the Wimbledon Foundation, which has partnered with charities such as WaterAid, as well as working with local communities that promote healthy, active lives. The All England Lawn Tennis Club also works closely with the Lawn Tennis Association, which envisions tennis opened up. And the Middle Sunday Opened Up Tennis Festival encapsulates the effort to promote community grassroots participation in tennis. A definite high point of the experience was being part of a team that delivered a successful championships. On the other hand, it was difficult not being able to voice my opinion and ideas, as well as dealing with, with the continued security risks throughout the championships. This experience gave me insight into the inner workings of a world-renowned organisation, and the security aspect was particularly interesting for me in terms of monitoring risks and behaviours, as well as coordinating staff efficiently. Despite this, I'm interested in finding experience in the public sector with less emphasis on profit-driven incentives and more focus on research or policy making. I've learned through this experience that I would best suit a job that encompasses a balance between teamwork and independent study. I was intrigued by the corporate social responsibility at Wimbledon, especially since the AELTC sought strategic advice from industry ex experts in climate change in order to review business practices and become more sustainable. This made me realise potential future avenues for careers in climate change advocacy. Equally, the experience left me better equipped with interpersonal skills and greater accountability, which prove invaluable to any future career path.